All right, this is lesson 6.1, solving systems by graphing. You're going to need your notebook to take notes in, a ruler and a pencil. The learning target for today is to solve systems of equations by graphing. So for those of you who are new to Cornell Notes, your notebook paper should be divided up like this. In the section on the top you're going to write what lesson. In the section in the middle which should be only about two or three spaces wide you're going to write the essential question. In this area you're going to take notes and then you'll go back and write in questions in the left hand margin. So this left hand margin should be a third or less of your paper. So, if you've set up your Cornell note paper, you can put in the information. This is lesson 6.1, and you can just abbreviate and call it the graphing method. In the middle section is the essential question, and for the most part, the essential question comes from the learning target, and you simply write, how do you? So, your essential question for these notes for lesson 6.1 how do you solve systems of equations using graphing? Take a few seconds and get that all finished when you're done hit resume on the video and we'll get going okay first thing I want to do is define what a system of linear equations is so in your notes you should write this stuff down. A system of linear equations, and this definition comes right out of your book in your glossary. It's just two or more linear equations that have the same variables. That's it, short and simple. A system of linear equations is also sometimes known as just a system or a linear system. So what? What's the big deal? What do we do with them? Well, we're going to get into that a little more in this lesson and in further lessons, but really, if you've written this question down, that should go in the margin. What do we do with them? And what you do with a linear system is you solve to find a point of intersection. And that can mean a whole bunch of things. It could mean a point of intersection on an actual graph. It could mean a point of intersection in sort of a figurative way. And that's where we'll get to that later on in this lesson and further lessons. So here's what we're looking at. The first problem says, what's the solution to the system of, or to the system use a graph? solution means solve. And the way that you're going to solve this system, this is what the system is, these are the two linear equations using the same variables. The way you solve it is you graph the first one and then you graph the second one. Graph the first one. To graph this, you first of all identify the beginning point beginning point of this is 2, so I start on my graph at 2. Now if I'm going too fast for you and you don't have a graph made, hit the pause button, get it set up, and then come back and finish watching. So the beginning point for this equation is 2, the slope is 1, and when you have a slope of 1, that means you rise 1 and run 1. So from this point 2, I'm going to go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. And my suggestion to you is instead of making a couple points and then drawing a line, you make a whole bunch of points so, they're, so that your line is accurate. So up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. Then take your ruler. It's important that you use a ruler in this method because you're going to rely on an accurate line to find your solution. 
there's the first equation you should label it y equals x plus 2 and then you take the second equation and you identify the beginning point which is negative 2 negative 2 is down 2 on the y-axis and the slope is 3 which is 3 over 1 and just like before you're gonna start at the beginning point and go up 1 2 3 and over 1 and keep doing that 1 2 3 and over 1 and what you find after only two more points is where the two lines intersect that line is y equals 3x minus 2. The point that they cross, the point of intersection, is the solution. The solution to this system is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. The coordinates 2, 4. That's the solution and you're done with problem 1. And that's pretty easy. Now, to make your answer clear on your paper when you start doing your homework, highlighter works great. Highlight the point and highlight the answer. So, you could call this problem 1B. Take a second, copy down the problem, and see if you can solve this linear system by graphing all by yourself. Hit the pause button. And when you've finished, hit resume. Okay, I'm going to assume that you've already done the problem if you've hit play again. So I'm going to go quickly through the solution, but I didn't want to just flash it up. I wanted to show you step by step. Here we go. First equation, beginning point is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's the beginning point. The slope is 2. I'm going to rise 2 and run 2. Rise 2, run 2, up 2, over 1. And I can also go down 2, back 1, down 2, back 1. And that forms my line. Now, it's super important that you make your lines accurately so that when you find where they cross, you, don't, you end up getting the correct coordinates. The second line begins at 2, 1, 2, and has a slope of 1 up one over one up one over one up one over one up one now what's happening is my lines are getting further apart so I'm gonna have to go down one back one down one back one and there's my point of intersection there's the point where the two lines cross so the first line I drew I'm gonna label y equals 2x plus 4 the second line I drew I'm gonna label y equals x plus 2. Then I'm going to highlight the point of intersection and label it with negative 2, 0. That's my solution.